So this tutorial is about how to put a cap like this onto our lovely kimono cord. So when you get your kimono cord, it will look like this. And so what you want to do is take any of the yarn that's sticking out of the end, and if your wire cutters are sharp enough, do it with your wire cutters. Otherwise, use your, your sewing scissors and cut it so that the end is flush and the little frays are off. Then you'll want to take a piece of 24 gauge wire. 22 or 24 works best. 20 is a little too thick and 26 up is too skinny and will probably break. So you want a piece that's about a foot long because you're going to be doing a significant amount of wrapping. And to start with, you want to cut the tip of the wire at an angle so that it is pointed. Be careful about sharp objects flying off and hitting yourself in the eye or others. So you start, you pierce the cord about a quarter of an inch down, not too close because as you're wearing it, if there's any sort of pull on it, you don't want this to pull out the end of it. And with about an inch to an inch and a half left on the end, you curve it up into a U and pinch it. So you'll have a short tail in the front and a long tail in the back. Now you take the long tail that still has the pointed end, bring it around and into the front, pierce through, and while you're pulling it taut, keep a finger on your first, your first loop because it can come undone. So once you get it in there, you want to come in with your pliers and squeeze it shut a little bit. And you want these to be tight because you're going to have to fit all this into the end of a cap, like this. So one more time, you bring the tail that's in the back around, pierce it through the front, pull it, and then tighten it with your pliers. So now, you have a tail like this with one coming in the front and one coming out of the back. So you turn around and you take the long tail that was coming out of the back that is now in the front. And this is where you're going to cinch this all together so everything fits through that cap. So you take your tail, pull it out, and around like that. And then keep going around and you do want it to be fairly tight and feel free to use your pliers to help you out with this. And you bring it around and just enough to get it all cinched in and secure. It doesn't have to be beautiful because it gets covered by the cap. So once you've once you feel like it's good enough you can give it a little bit of a pull but not too much because you can see that you'll undo your wrap at this point. Putting the cap on will keep that in place at the end, though. You know, pull it so that your tails are parallel and test fit your cap. Make sure it will actually go on before you glue or anything like that. So, once you're sure it's all the way in, you know it will fit. None of the wrap is showing. So you can take your cap off, and then this is the part for extra security where you will glue. Okay, so we prefer GS Hypo Cement because of the fine tip makes it easy to apply the glue without having it get all over the place. And you want to go around the sides of the wrap so that it glues inside of the cone, but not so much that it gushes out the side. A little goes a long way and then get the top to keep it from fraying over time. So now you want to put your cap back on and then make sure when you pull it in that it's in all the way. So with the holes you can see through the side that it's up there. And now you have two tails coming out of the top. 
Okay, so now this is where I'm going to put a small bead here. And the only prerequisite for the bead is that both tails of the wire have to fit through it. And now at this point, to anyone who has wire wrapping experience, this looks an awful lot like a briolette wrap. And that's basically what you're going to be doing. So you have it set up the same way. And for anyone who needs a refresher on how to briolette wrap, you can go to www.beadshop.com and it is in our free tips and techniques section. So, you do your briolette wrap. So the only difference is that instead of capping your briolette, you're just going to wire wrap down to that bead. So you get your clasp on. Sorry. And then you wire wrap down. And you don't want your wrap to be too long because then it has a chance of bending around too much and breaking. Then you cut off the ends of your tails. Yeah, we're good. Perfect. Uh -huh. And there is your finished product. Yay! It's sturdy, secure, and will hold for a long time.